So I say we heard that on the post game on Saturday, you've got family in, from Laramie. Is that right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's right. I got. Um, so every year we have like a, a family reunion on the July 4th. All my, my cousins and stuff like that live in like Rock Springs. But they're diehard Wyoming fans, so they, they kind of give me crap all the time about it. So. so what does this game then mean for you? Is it a little extra meaningful for you then? I would say I got a little bit more extra juice going into this game for sure. You know what I'm saying? Just because the whole family is going to be there. So Have I'm you excited. Told your teammates then maybe the, the stories of just what how Wyoming fans feel about BYU and kind of what this game <laughs> might mean going into Larry? See, honestly, I've never been there, so I couldn't really say too much. But um, I'm excited just to see the atmosphere in there. I heard it's, it's crazy, so for sure. So I know your mom played volleyball or basketball here. Mm-hmm. Debbie Diamond, right? Is that your uh, volleyball or volleyball? Yeah. yeah. So is that the side of the family that's rela- uh, that grew up in Wyoming, or is it your father's? Side? So it's actually my dad's side. Okay. okay. Yeah. So he he was actually born in Wyoming, and his cousins lived out there. So okay. we would just go out there every single every year on July Fourth. Did Wyoming recruit you? Uh, they didn't actually. So. So uh, it takes through the sack. I mean, especially kind of emotionally, what did that felt like for you? You know, it's always good, like, getting your first sack, for sure. Especially me, I, like, this is, like, my first real year, especially playing on defense and stuff like that. So being able to get that sack, it means a lot to me. And especially I just get props to the front seven, especially the other backers, just, like, I don't know, helping me put me in that situation to where I get the opportunity to get the sack like that. So, What's clicking this year for you? Because we've past couple of years, we've seen you making plays out here on these practice fields and camp and spring ball, but what's what's working this year for you? Uh, honestly, it was mostly just putting the weight on, I would say. like I, I feel like I was pretty light last year and the year before, and I just kind of focused on the weight room, and then I just focused on uh, just watching film and stuff like that. So just having knowledge of the game has helped me a lot. So Has the transition to starter been pretty seamless for you, or have there been any like kind of tough moments along the way? Uh, usually it's hard, like, starting your first game, especially, like, when I was in high school. You kind of get the jitters a little bit until I feel like just, like, the first drive, and then it's kind of just, like, a thing that you do every day, especially when we're out here practicing. It just felt like the same, so. Talking about being light, what are we talking, like, difference weight-wise previous years to this year? Honestly, when, so when I first got here, I played free safety, yeah. and I was, like, 190 pounds. Last year I was, like, 215, 214, and during the season now I'm, like, 240, 238, so, yeah. And you were – Coming out of Bingham, you were a receiver. Mm-hmm. Did you ever envision that you'd one day be playing linebacker here? Honestly, no. So when BYU recruited me, I, they recruited me as, like, an athlete. So I was going to either play free safety or wide receiver. And then uh, Kalani actually, like, told me that he wants me to play outside backer, and he thinks it's the best opportunity for me. So I, I listened to Kalani, and so far it has been. So, What's been the big reason behind your ability to pass rush this year versus maybe previous seasons in your mind? Honestly, just knowing the defense and especially just Jay Hill calling, he, he's, he's a great defensive coordinator and his ability to call plays is just, I feel like all the boys on the defense trust him and stuff like that. So especially being able to trust him and knowing your assignment, I feel like we, we hit home a lot. So How much has Jay's uh, health scare kind of brought the team even closer and, and rallied you guys to not only play harder, but just how much has that helped uh, the, the effort, I guess, in games? Honestly, it's given us juice. Like, the defense, we, we love Jay Hill. And, like, I would say he's everything to, to us for sure. And even being able to FaceTime him, too, and him just talking to us, it's, I don't know, it's, it's inspired us a whole lot. And, like, we just got a lot of juice from it. So I, I feel like these next few games, it's just we're playing for him for sure. And I, we just we hope that he has a speedy recovery and he can get back on the field with us because we know he's in the box. But, yeah, no, as a defense, we love Jay Hill for sure. So. And here in practice when he's up at the tent, who's mm-hmm. kind of the voice – leading the defense coach-wise for you guys down on the practice field and field level? Honestly, it's it's just a mix of everybody. All I feel like Coach Pop, Coach G, Coach Anna, ETC, I feel like all of them are kind of just giving their input. And then we have JH on the radio talking to us. So if we ever make a mistake, you know our, your position coach is going to get on you. But uh, for the most part, I would say Jay, he's just talking on the radio to the coaches and he's kind of just signaling to us. So, What will be the defensive keys against Wyoming to slow him down? Uh, honestly, stop the run. That's it. Uh, we're, we're we're big on stopping the run, so make them beat us over top mostly. So they've got a big quarterback, so mm-hmm. to six five, two fifty. That create any extra challenge? You've got that big slinging the rock over the field. Uh, honestly, uh, I feel like we're not too worried about it. He's he's a good he's a pretty good quarterback on film. So mostly just keep him contained, and if we just hit, do our job, then we're going to be all right. So.